Welcome to Pro Kitchen 8.1 Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the new 3D options available in Pro Kitchen 8.1. I have a design open here, so with this design, let's take a 3D and check out these new options. You'll notice here in the top of my screen that we've got three new buttons up here. Let's take a look at our first one, Top View, Front View, and saved views. So we click on top view and it takes us straight into a new top view. Now we can zoom in, we can zoom out, and we have all of our rotational functionality here in our top view. Now let's go to our next button, front view. We click on it and we notice we have L2, L1, and wall 3. And these are simply the three elevations that we've had earlier while we were designing the kitchen. So I want to click on L2, and you'll notice it pops me right down here to a nice straight-on shot of that wall. And again, we have all of our functionality here. Click on it again, and we can go to L1, and it gives us a shot of our end wall. Now I want to zoom out a little bit, center this up just a touch. There we go. And now let's check out our saved views. So here I'm going to click on Saved Views and save view. A little window pops up and in this window I'm just going to name this number one. Now let's go over here and I'm going to cheat and use my use my buttons to spin around and I want to just do that. I want to zoom out just a little bit. Just make this exactly the view I want. Saved view, save view. Again our box pops up here. Number one. Tap. Better do this one number two. Okay. Now when I click on my saved views, you'll notice I got view one and view two. If I click on view one, it pops me right back around to that view. Now if I leave and make a change, let's take this and move it over to here. And I come back into my 3D. You see I've got my stool over here. When I go to my saved views, it's going to pull that in with that moved stool. So your changes automatically take effect and apply to your saved views. Now I want to rotate it around. I want to move that stool back. Let's see, undo button should do it for me. And I want to open my 3D one more time. And we'll take a look at the default view now. Let my view build up here. Now I want to rotate it around. I want to get just a nice view of it. Rotate it around. Zoom in just a little bit. There we go. There's a nice view of it. I'm going to click on my saved views. Set as default. And now this is my default view. So we've got two really cool things now. I'm going to close my 3D and once you set your default view you always want to come back and resave your design. And now I want to cre create 3D again and as it burns through here right before it's all done it will adjust to my default view. That makes it really cool. That way you can set one view and pull it up every time you open 3D to that exact same view which is perfect for a kitchen like this. Now it does one more thing for us. Let me go and open my documents where I've saved these and voila here's my documents and you'll notice that this is the design we're in and we've got this nice little image up here and if your image isn't showing up you might have to come up here and change your icon. If your icon's too small, they show as our standard Pro Kitchen. Clearly, an image won't do you any good here. But if you go into small icons, they're still there. Medium icons, they pop up. And large icons, they get bigger. And if we go all the way up to extra large icons, there's a few designs I have done up with their icons showing. 
So that makes it really easy when you go in and choose your design, especially if you have several for the same job. So now a quick recap. New 3D views. We've got top view, we've got front view, and we've got our saved views along with our default view, our original default, that's the way it was. If you click on that, it sets it back. And don't forget, once you set your default view, you need to come in and save your design, and that sets it so that it opens as the icon. So this has been Pro Kitchen 8.1 Video Tutorials, New 3D View Options. Thank you for watching.